Like many people as they grow older, Betty Allen has suffered impaired vision from cataracts. It was bad. I could not see street signs driving along. I would have to stop if I was looking for a particular street, get out the car, and walk up to the side and look at it, and then get back in the car. Fortunately, Betty Allen came to DMC Kresge Eye Institute where she received cataract surgery with a small incision and fabulous results. She was satisfied enough to return for her other eye. How were things at work with your new vision in one eye? Oh, I walked in without any glasses and all the techs looked at me and said, where's your glasses? I don't need them. <laughs> they said, you really can see now? Yep. Dr. Anju Goyle, a cataract and glaucoma specialist at Kresge Eye Institute, explains cataract surgery in very simple terms and makes it easy for patients to understand. Light actually travels through the front part of the eye, which is the clear area, the cornea, through that black hole known as the pupil, and then it hits our lens. And I'm going to show you the cross section here. The lens actually sits right behind that black center. Light travels then from the clear lens and is focused on the back part of the eye and then the images are sent through this cable to our brain and that's how we see. So what happens with the cataract is this lens, which is in behind the center focus of the eye, becomes cloudy over time. So it becomes from a nice clear lens that we're born with and over time it takes on this yellow-white appearance. That cloudiness interferes with the lens ability to focus light. The cloudier the lens, the worse our vision. Vision can be impaired mildly where glasses can improve the vision and a patient can still drive and function, but people can actually go down to legal blindness and almost complete blindness from the cataract. Restoring sight to someone with cataracts is a very delicate yet fairly simple procedure. The clouded lens must be removed and replaced with a new artificial lens. This lens is tailor-made to the patient, so it not only eliminates the cataract, but also can help correct vision defects such as nearsightedness. Because we replace the clear lens with something that's specifically designed for the patient, it's actually like putting a glasses inside the eye for the patient. For her procedure, Ms. Allen was given some medicine to help her relax, but she was kept awake through the operation. Okay, keep looking straight ahead, Ms. Allen, you're doing a great job. This is just, you know, we're just getting everything set up. Then I'm going to set up the microscope, okay? And I'll let you know when the surgery's going to start, okay? Mm -hmm. First, Dr. Goyle numbs the eye with a local anesthetic. Then she makes two small incisions. Now, is she seeing anything through this eye um, at this point? Well, Mrs. Allen can talk to us. Are you seeing anything, Mrs. Allen? No, I just basically a light, right? Yes, that light. Yep, so she's seeing the light of the microscope. And how do you feel, Mrs. Allen? I feel great. Once the incisions are made, Dr. Goyle uses ultrasound to break the clouded lens into sections that can be sucked out of the eye. See how the cataract's now coming out? And where's the cataract? This is the cataract, you're all this yellow. This now it's kind of become a little bit liquefied. What are the little bubbles? That's the bubbles from just the air. From... Once the old lens is removed, the replacement lens is folded and loaded into a special instrument for delivery. Then, Dr. Goyle places it into the eye. Now you can see I placed it back in the original position of the cataract. So now this lens is going to act like when she was first born. No stitches needed, simply a bandage and a plastic shield, which Ms. Allen will wear overnight to protect the eye while it begins to heal. She will return to normal activity in a couple of days, and her eye should be fully healed in a month or so. We're pleased that Betty Allen found the DMC Kresge Eye Institute special enough to return for her second cataract surgery. And when I met Dr. Goyle, she explained everything. She does not rush. She keeps asking, did I forget to tell you something? Anything you want to ask? She's a very thorough doctor. So, so it sounds like you're giving the DMC and Kresge a pretty strong recommendation. Oh, yes, I would. I would tell anybody to come here. I bring my kids here, my friends. If you would like to find out more about cataract surgery or if you would like to make an appointment with Dr. Goyle, visit us here at dmc.org. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.